Hey guys, join me today while I give myself a signature hydrofacial and dermaplane. My face is super dry from the transition between summer and into those drier fall and winter months. Okay, so I'm gonna do this really quick. Get that glow for the holidays. You can see a little bit of my pigmentation left over from picking at a random pimple. But other than that, the texture looks pretty good. I look well hydrated. However, the hydrofacial is here to make me extra glowy, dewy, and clean for the holiday season. Okay, signature hydrofacial, here we come. Okay, start with my dermaplane. made it out no unibrow now but I did nick my skin it doesn't help that I just used retinol earlier in the week it just softens up this tissue um, it makes it really really sensitive if you will and um, easier to nick during a dermaplane okay so that's why it's so important to stop using retinol seven days to ten days before any skincare treatment that you're going to use any abrasive techniques or exfoliation okay now i'm going in with my gentle cleanser to clean off the top layer of my skin um, i have on sunscreen and moisturizer so we want to remove all of that before and blood uh, our hydrofacial okay I'm really getting in there to clean off that makeup and sunscreen and blood. Yummy. I'll just use that plasma to rehydrate my skin. <laughs> so delicious. And cut. Love that blood in. Now I'm gonna go in with my clean steaming towel to remove off the cleanser off my face. And we'll dive right into the 30 minute signature hydrofacial. We just cleansed our face and here we go. The first portion is going to um, deeply exfoliate and cleanse the skin. We're um, spreading the cleanser all over our skin, okay, to help the tip glide across our skin a little better and easier so there's no tugging and friction.
now we're going into the glycolic salicylic peel. I have the medical grade version, so this is going to gently um, exfoliate another layer of skin, obviously with the use of glycolic and salicylic blend. This is 30% glycolic and 1.5% salicylic. Um, this is not going to be like a chemical peel where my face is going to fall off. It's just going to um, gently topically remove um, as if you would a exfoliating cleanser, okay? This portion does sting a little bit, tingle, even itch sometimes. That is totally normal. Turn off our Here we go. Saturate my face. Feel the burn. Ooh, fire. want to get in on my nose because this softens up the layer of skin for the extraction portion. I like to leave my steamer on usually because it opens up my pores and really makes the uh, product penetrate into your skin a little deeper. Okay. Next up, we're gonna use the beta hydroxy acid to um, alleviate and extract any congestion, blackheads, makeup, dirt, oil, and debris, okay? The best part about the hydrofacial is afterwards, you get to go and look at the gunky and see what was living in your face, okay? Hands down, the best part, in my opinion, of a hydrofacial. Here we go. We start with the T-zone. I have a lot of blackheads on my chin, okay? I wear a mask all day, every day, in my field, prior to COVID, okay? Now, we're gonna get that nose really good. Here we go. We're gonna work out any congestion in that T zone. Can't wait to show you guys what comes out. Okay. We're gonna move on to the forehead and then I'll probably go over my chin and nose again, okay? So the Signature Hydrofacial doesn't typically come with a booster. However, I don't have time to give myself the LED light therapy or anything like that. So I'm just going to go in with my uh, Regen Growth Factor. So this is going to help uh, build proteins and peptides and rehydrate my skin after all of the damage that I did to it over summer and just not being able to give myself my monthly Hydrofacial. Okay, so this is going to go in rebuild, help produce some collagen, alleviate any pigmentation, and moisturize my skin. Okay, here we go. Let me open it a little bit. There we go. You can see we're really pushing it deep into our wide open clean pores. I saturate my face with the boosters. Yeah. Ooh. 
my lips are so dry. So I'll probably add on the lip perk after. And do my neck as well. You girls looking a little old. my skin is loving my hydrofacial. So the benefit of a hydrofacial is to cleanse, exfoliate, and rehydrate the skin without spreading bacteria like a traditional facial. When you do extractions, this just spreads the bacteria. Even if you're using a Q-tip tissue on your fingertips, it still just spreads bacteria, okay? So what's nice about the hydrofacial, it uses the tip to gently remove those blackheads and congestion, old makeup, sunscreen, dirt, oil, and debris, okay? You can see that redness really subsided fairly quickly. My skin loves the hydrofacial. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in with my aftercare moisturizers. Once again, I am in a little bit of a hurry. So hang on tight, I'll be right back. So I really like to use lightweight um, moisturizers post severe extractions and exfoliation because my pores are wide open. I don't wanna put an oil on my face cause that's gonna clog my pores from my skin type. So I typically do hyaluronic acid um, or a whipped lightweight peptide hyaluronic acid moisturizer and then top it with my favorite sunscreen, L to MD, uh, the Restore and Rebalance. Okay, let's get started. So this is hyaluronic acid with a little bit of vitamin C in it. My face can handle just about anything. I typically do a monthly microneedling when I have time on myself. However, when I don't, I typically do just my hydrofacial. Okay, so I really get in there and work that product into my face. And because I am working the rest of the day, I'm just going to apply my sunscreen on and call it quits, okay? Here's that sunscreen. I like the L to MD UV Restore like we talked about. I use the tinted one, okay? I don't wear a lot of makeup, so this just helps me look put together, clean and fresh, and protected from the sun. It's a really good shade. I have all my clients on this, okay? Looks very natural, and it matches all skin types, okay? I am a sunscreen junkie. Okay, let's see what came out of my face today in the gunky without spilling. Oh, okay. So lots of congestion, guys. You can see the blackheads, dirt, oil, and debris, the color of my water. I wear tinted sunscreen, so that plays a big factor in the shade of the water some really good blackheads in here. You can't really see, but this is the best part of hydrofacial. I promise. You're gonna be so excited to see what came out of your face. 